So the day has come. Today we're testing because that's Polish. Bosch! Boom! Chesh Luja! What's up, people? Hola, Vigo's mom and Vigo's dad here. Welcome to another episode. It's Vigo's mom. I mean... I'm still here, you know? Yeah, we're not, you know, divorced, nothing, you know. She, she just has... <laughs> she's not been in an episode for, I don't know, more than a month yeah. or you know, almost two. I got a new job and apparently when you do get a new job, you need to work. <laughs> So, you know, we have to try to fit her in uh, when she has some free time. What are we doing today? I mean, you saw that hook there in the intro, but... Yes, we're challenging you. We want to see if you know how to read Polish and how much you understand and how much you can figure out also the cultural, you know, yeah. uh, meaning of certain phrases. So we're using Polish sayings that are very popular and used in the Polish language. Yeah. And like Poland day-to-day -day speech and we'll see if you know what we are all about. Jesus. I'm nervous for this one because you guys think that I, that I, you guys think that I know more Polish than I do, but I think today I'm gonna be on display. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it, guys. So let's go to something that applies to you, I think, and try to read number one. Okay, okay, so... Lepiej późno niż wcale. Very well. Tak? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says... Lepiej... Uh, niż. It's niż. Uh -huh. I said niż. I said niż. Niż. Okay. Yes, niż. So, lepiej późno niż wcale. This one's hard, right? It's wcale. Hard. wcale. Lepiej późno niż wcale. Okay, so it's better... Uh, Późno, it's like a, a, I know this późnie, right? That's the meaning. Uh, Jesus, where's Vigo so you're going to help me? <laughs> Vigo knows more Polish than me. Better now than later, and now than sorry. Similar, the first one was actually okay. So better, na better now? Better later. Better late. later, późnie, późnie, of it course. It actually exists in English. Better later than ever, yeah, of course. Yeah. And for you guys, it's better later. Yeah. Than, than at all. Than at all. So, so Vitali Vitali is uh, at all. At all, yeah. At all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one down for me. <laughs> one thumb down. It says here, Francuski piezek. So French <laughs> French dog. Yeah. What does it mean? French a French a French uh, like like you are French doggy French puppy. Like a high class, but like someone that pretends to be similar. Than they are similar. Francuski piezek is when someone. He says, I don't eat that, I don't like that, it's too cold, it's too warm. I mean, it's like a toddler behavior, but you, you, you say to, to about an adult okay. that is just, you know... Like picky? Picky and something like that. Like picky and petty, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Francuski okay. is it like, you, everything bothers them and nothing is good enough. So it's like... Why like, French? Why, 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 why French dog? <laughs> because imagine those little French dogs, like you have to brush their hair and put the bow and they're like, oh, this hurts, or oh, he doesn't like this. So the next one. Okay. Uh, you look so, like you need glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Co nas nie zabije, uh -huh. to nas wzmocni. Mm -hmm. So, what doesn't something, uh -huh. what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Yes! yes I got one! <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna get, I was not gonna get either, either one. See? I think this is something that you started to understand after living in Europe. Okay. And we'll see if you figure it out. Okay, so it says, Abe do wiosne. Abe do wiosne. Mm -hmm. So, tu, abe, I don't know what's abe. Do, tu, wiosne. Wiosne, wiosna. It's, um, uh, wios, wiosne. Wiosna is not like a, a season? Yeah. Right? Uh, so, it's not, it's not lato. Mm -hmm. Summer. No, no, it's not, it's not yeah, summer. The other one. The yeah. other summer. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. The other summer. <laughs> the, <laughs> the other, other summer. Yeah. We have to, you know, we have two summers. <laughs> spring, right? Spring. <laughs> spring. <laughs> okay, so abe to biosne, so it means to, something to uh, spring. Yeah. Abe uh, means, you don't know this word, but it means like, hopefully we'll get, to, just just to get to that point. Ah, uh, just, so, just, so, so, so just to get to spring? spring. Yeah. And it would, in, it would, in would, I mean, when would you use that? When <laughs> in winter. <laughs> We're not in the second summer. Whatever is happening, we'll survive it oh, as so long as we get to the spring. <laughs> very <laughs> Polish, very People Polish. either say Bile do Wiosny or Abe do Wiosny, like, you know, Bile. 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 Yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one would be Hodzic na Zionsach. Mm -hmm. So, Hodzic, it's like from Hodge, right? Hodge, Hodge, yeah. like, uh, uh, so, uh, like, Going, um, it's a going, verb. It's a verb, right? Walking. 
like by foot. Yeah, so hodge, hodge. So it's walking. Walking. To walk, yeah. Jeonsach. Jeonsach. What is this? Walking to. You might have learned this when I was telling Vigo all the parts of his face. So this is what I'm saying. Walking to the eyelashes? On your eyelashes. Walking on your eyelashes. Walking on your eyelashes? Yeah. Like, it means that you're very sleepy and very tired? Yes! <laughs> yeah, you figured it out. That means that you are so tired that you're on your faces on the floor and you're walking on your eyes. Just like you and I the last two years. It's <laughs> almost three. This one, I don't think I don't think it exists in English or I have I don't know it in English, but yeah. I think I've heard something similar in Spanish. So maybe maybe you'll figure this out. Jong noch Kogosh za Yonzig. Yonzig is 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 yeah a tongue. Tongue. Chong notch. Have you heard this before? Jonga? Jong? No, no. Jonga? <laughs> I don't know. This I, is Jonga. Pulling? Uh huh. To pull. To pull? Somebody by the tongue. So, by the tongue. So make yeah. him speak, right? Yeah, do you say right. it in Spanish? Uh, we say one that is sacarlo con cucharita. Ah, okay. Okay, similar. Yeah. Like you getting it out, but yeah. not from the mouth, I assume. I don't know. Just whatever, you know, like if you're gonna get something out of a jar, like but it's, it's like, like little, little by little, little it's by painful little. So like I guess it's something slow. like that. Okay. Grach. Komush na nerva. I know the word nerva. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Grach is, is, is like straight to play, right? Mm, like yeah. playing. Komush. I know na nerva is. Does is, that come from ner nervuje? Yes, yes. But remember that in Polish, the nervowane or the nervovac, yeah. right? It comes from the word noun nerve, which is like nerves. Nerves. But in our metaphorical sense, it means. Play? The, the, Don't play with my nerves? Don't play with well, my. It is to play to someone's nerves. It's like to. Annoy somebody. Uh huh. Okay. And to okay. Provoke them and to push their button. So it's like I'm playing your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so, ktoś nie daje sobie w kaszę dmuchać. Okay. I don't give mm -hmm. yourself. No. To oneself. To oneself. Yeah. Just a little tip because daje means also let. Like someone is not letting not someone diame, else to do it. Okay. Yeah, because it's so, to give or let. Someone's not letting. Kasha mm -hmm. comes from Kasha. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. So, someone is not letting someone eat the Kasha? And what's the last word? Muhach. Do you know the word? I think you know. I, I don't. When Vigo much. has the, the, the cake. For blowing? Yeah. So, it's extremely weird the saying. Don't let someone else blow in your, in your, in your porridge. <laughs> Well, now with coronavirus, you know, I'm not gonna let someone blow my stuff. You know, they were ahead of time, Polish this... people. Ahead of time. I, I, I don't know, it sounds sexual. I don't know. <laughs> Let's say I'm a person that I don't let anybody blow in my porch. <laughs> you see what I mean? Hold on, let's run that back. I don't let anybody blow in my porch. <laughs> that means that you are tough. That you won't let anyone tell you how to live your life. It comes like, look, let me, I'll blow. Look, it's, it's not how you can eat it. Still sexual. <laughs> uh, let's move on. That's weird. I don't know what you do at night. I am not participating in this. Uh, this one is uh, related. Related to the one to the behind. previous one, yeah. Okay, so, kashka zmlekim. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> what does you think it means? Kasha with milk. I mean, no, you but know? obviously, <laughs> what metaphorically it means. Um, I can give you three other versions and then you will try to figure out. Uh, okay, give me the three other versions. So, first one is, you know, porridge with milk. Okay. Bukas maswem. Okay, so, okay, I get it. And the third one is mawe pivo. How are they related? <laughs> Maui people, but I understand the buka uh, um, the maswa, but it's maswem, yeah. It's maswem, but I don't know with uh, It metaphorically symbolizes something. Wow. If you figure it out. Wow, that, that one is that one is Maui people. It's more beer. Can you say it with the intonation that you would use it? Okay. Mm, I'm Maui people. Buka's maswem. So like so it means that, for like, <laughs> simple? Yeah! You got it! Something simple, easy. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Th this one is, is, is kind of awkward because it's um, usually directed to someone. Okay. But you can, you can, you can read it as this. Okay, so. Corona z głowy mm -hmm. nie spada komuś. Mm -hmm. And this is like a general form. It usually would be Corona ci z głowy nie spadnie. In Poland, what what is Corona? You know, it's, it's a crown. Yes. It's a crown. Yeah. Literally. Okay, so Corona is crown. Yeah. Uh, crown on the head. 
a crown that is on the head? Zgłowy. Ah, with the head? Uh, yeah, so, so we have too many. It means off the, the head. Off the head. So a crown that, that is off the head is not... What? It's not ruling? It's not... It literally means the crown won't fall off your head. Yes. We have something similar. It means oh, yeah. like, for example, like, like if you, like, it's not gonna kill you if you don't do this, right? Yeah. You know it's what I mean? It's not beneath you. Exactly. Like, you, what do you think? You're, you queen or king, you yeah. cannot do that? Like, You're not gonna stop crown... being Francuski Piese <laughs> if you do this, you know what I mean? Ktoś ma głowę na kartku. So, uh, so someone with a head, <laughs> The one that has a head on top of of a car. I don't know what is on top of car. Car is neck. That, that, so what? Someone has. Someone has a head on top of the neck. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Someone. Oh, I will tell you. You have head? your head on your neck. Ah. In English, it's the same. You have your head screwed up. Right. Uh, so or something. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you are smart and you are like. Grounded. Not, not, not irresponsible. Okay, you're grounded. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. In Polish, I think it's more smart. Like, oh, he has his head on his neck, which means like he's making right decisions. Yeah. Oh my God, this, I love this, this one. This, lepsze jest wrogiem dobrego. Lepsze is better, right? Wrogiem dobrego. Something better. Wrog. Oh, hold on, no tell me. Okay. Hold on, lepsze jest. Good is better than uh, good is better than the uh, in Spanish we have something similar I think so it's like like the ba the bad the, the, the better the better is the enemy of the good or yeah. something Yeah is it like that Yes so it exists also like the better is the enemy of the good or yeah, something okay, that in English okay. I didn't know So this is uh, vrogim is enemy Yeah vro vrug, vrug is enemy and he's just declin declinated Okay vrug I get it Yeah dun, 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 dun.